Hey guys, welcome back. I'm joined here with our Top Speed Golf Certified Instructor, Robin Rosado. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos together and we're gonna get some more lag. I know you guys really want a lot of lag. All the pros have it. And I got a great three-piece drill that Robin's gonna help us demonstrate. So let's start out by, you know, one of the things that I really see people struggling with is casting the club and you get to the top of the swing, the right arm takes over. What's happening is the, the right forearm, the right shoulder, they're trying to come down really hard to start the swing and we burn up all our speed prior to getting down to the ball. So we're not saving up any of that energy. We're gonna do a, what's called an arrow drill. So I have one with two hands where I talk about, imagine there's kind of like a, a, a pouch with arrows in it and I'm gonna pull the arrow out of the quiver and then swing on through. What I want you to do, just go ahead and start out with just the left arm only. Okay. We're gonna take it all the way to the top. He's gonna to rest that on his shoulder. Notice how the, the fingers are on there nice and loose. His elbow is gonna be bent for this drill. Don't have to do that in your real swing, but we're just doing this for this drill. And then go ahead and extend that out away like you're pulling that, you're sliding that club down, the, down your back. So go ahead and do that about three times. He's letting that club slide against his shoulder. Now he's gonna swing all the way on through. This time, go ahead and do it all the way on through with some speed this time. There we go, we see he has tons of lag. I mean, crazy amounts of lag there. So after we've done that about three times, do one more and then we're gonna to switch to the right arm only. There we go. So don't have to worry about anything you know, specific. What I do want you to, to focus on is make sure this doesn't get too cupped. I don't wanna cup that wrist, that's gonna be nice and flat. The fingers are gonna be on there soft so you can let it slide like that. So let's go ahead and do the right hand now. Okay. Same drill, we're gonna set the club on our shoulder. Again, the fingers are resting on the club, it doesn't have to be tight. And you're gonna slide it out and then swing through. There we go. So let's go ahead and do one more with just the right arm okay. only. You're not trying to go fast here, just nice and smooth to get that feeling of the arms going out. Tons of lag and then the club whipping on through. Let's go ahead and do one with uh, both hands on there. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. Again, it's okay for these elbows to bend. Let it slide down the shoulder and then from there, swing all the way on around. So now he's really got this ingrained. The reason this works is because I can't cast or that club's gonna come off my shoulder. I'm letting the, the start of my transition be across the shoulder like that. Mm -hmm. So now let's go ahead and try to rip one, okay. get the same sensation, and we're just gonna swing you know, nice and easy. You don't have to try to kill it, but try to get that same sensation in your swing. There we go, hammered that one. Got a lot of lag there. So thanks for helping us out, Robin. Work on those drills. Go ahead and do you know, five or 10 of each of those, left arm only, right arm only, both arms, and then make a few swings. You're gonna have a lot more lag. You get some more distance. All right, guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got an even better bonus for you. If we want to get distance in the golf swing, we've got to get a lot of lag, and then we've got to let that lag go. Well, I've got my number one lag video. I'm going to play a preview of that here in a second. If you're on a desktop device, go ahead and click the link that pops up in your screen. If you're on a phone or a tablet, click the iCard that's somewhere on your screen right now. That's going to take you to where you can get instant access to that full video. Plus, you're going to get five videos from our top speed golf system. Never going to cost you a dime. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Click that thumbs up button. That really helps us out. And also remember to subscribe. That way you'll see our newest videos. See you guys in the live video. Hi guys, and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see. And in this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag. And then we're gonna to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you, can, that you can do to build lag. I'm gonna talk about the science behind why this is the case. And I'm also gonna give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we wanna do is throughout the swing, I wanna have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not gonna set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. 